Hey guys, it's the Goronator here, and welcome to Gore's Weekly Recap for the week of January 11th, 2016. Hello, everybody. Once again, it is the start of a brand new week. Fuck Mondays, but you know... What? It's almost over for me now, at least. Hopefully, it's almost over for you guys. Hopefully, this video at least makes your Monday a tiny bit better. Um, and, you know, hopefully, it isn't going too badly for you guys. My Monday hasn't been too bad. Um, college usually goes pretty quick. Today, was playing Cards Against Humanity in most of my lessons, which is pretty fantastic. Not only just to play it with my mates, Josh, Josh, and Tom, but also to get the whole class involved, or at least not the, not, not the whole class, but, you know, uh, at least a few people in the class involved. That was so much fun. Messing about with Cards Against Humanity online. We were playing it on our, on our computers at college. Kind of, you know, had it, like, minimized whenever the teacher wasn't looking, open it up and start playing. It, it, it was a lot of fun, so uh, that made Monday a bit better for me. Plus, I found us something super awesome. Wednesday, I don't have to go into college. I actually got, like, an insect day, um, which doesn't usually happen for me at college. I've noticed that. Usually at secondary school and at primary school, I'd have a ton of, like, Mondays or maybe Fridays off as insect days. Um, but being at college, I've had, like, none at all. And then suddenly, I just get this Wednesday off out of nowhere. I don't know. Uh, I, I don't even know what an insect day is, to be perfectly honest. I have no idea what happens on those days. But I know we get it off, you know, school, college, maybe even work. So, uh, that's pretty great. So, yeah, I, I have... So, uh, I, I didn't have to go to work on the weekend, uh, last weekend, because... Uh, I haven't gone back yet. I'm still on like my Christmas break technically. I start again this week, this Saturday. Uh, so that's pretty good. So I actually had a weekend to myself, which is fantastic. Uh, I had to go in today, obviously to college, but then I get another two day kind of break, which is great as well. So hopefully everything is going as good for you guys as it is for me right now. Right, so firstly, before I kind of get into the main stuff I wanted to talk about today, I just wanted to give a very quick shout out to my friend, Mostly Toasty. Not only is he my friend, and he deserves as many shout outs as he can get, because he's an awesome, awesome guy, and makes some great content, but something very unfortunate happened to him very recently, where basically someone, some dickhead, hacked his account, his YouTube channel, well, I I'm pretty sure I actually grabbed, got hold of his email address, and then reset a bunch of stuff, um, but his YouTube channel being the main one there, and, you know, obviously aside from him losing all that time and effort he put in all those videos he uploaded he also lost all his fans he had about 500 subscribers or he's coming up to 500 subscribers and he lost it and this isn't the first time uh, it's the first time he's been hacked but previously he had, he, he had a YouTube channel which is where I first got to know him uh, there's a lot of hate on there so he decided to delete it he built his channel back up again with mostly toasty um, and then of course it got hacked and he lost that so this is the third time he, he the dedication this guy has it's pretty insane. I really do respect him for his perseverance and not giving up and uh, just going after his dreams. So, Will, if you're watching this, man, good on you for not giving up, man. So, yeah, guys, if you do want to go help him out, build back up that audience and, uh, you know, get him to a point which he actually deserves. You know, he's, he's almost made 500 subscribers two times before. Let's actually get him there this time. So, guys, if you do want to go help him out, link in the description to his channel. Go help him out. He makes some great content. Obviously, there's not much on there at the moment. Uh, seeing it, it, he has only just recreated Mostly Toasty 2, in a sense. Um, but, uh, yeah, he's a great guy. And uh, I really need to make some more content with him. So, I expect to see him in my channel a lot more in the future. So, yeah, go check him out. Link in the description. Help, help Will out. Uh, anyway, guys, let's get into the actual stuff I wanted to talk about today. The first one being... I didn't have a great start to the year. It's not a great start to the year when you promise to miss no more than 15 days of content and then you miss two right away. That is my bad, guys. So basically, in case you guys didn't notice, uh, I actually missed, I think it was Tuesday and um, Wednesday's videos last week. Uh, at least I think it was. Yeah, I was ill on those days. I uh, managed to get Gauls with the recap up on Monday because uh, I was feeling okay, although I sounded utter shite. Like, I could barely commentate because my throat kept, like, getting blocked up and stuff like that. Uh, and then Tuesday, I just couldn't do anything. I had no energy whatsoever. Same with Wednesday. So that's why I missed those two days of content. Not very great considering my 2016 goals. But guys, still got 13 days left. Don't worry about it. I'm not usually ill or very often. Maybe once or twice per year. Touch wood. Um, but yeah, that 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 was unfortunate that that happened. Max actually gave it to me. Don't worry, I'll be railing into him 
uh, on the podcast. I'll make sure he gets some hate for that on this week's BritBox. We actually missed BritBox last week because <coughs> um, we, yeah, obviously I missed uh, Wednesday's content, which is when I record BritBox ready for Thursday. Um, so yeah, I apologize about that, especially if you guys do like the podcast. They will be returning this week as well. Um, so yeah. Now that that's out of the way, uh, let's get on to some more joyous and uh, pretty cool stuff that's been going on. So, the first one being is some of you guys have been asking for quite some time, when am I going to set up my fan Skype account? Because, obviously, I do have a Skype account already. That's what I record with my friends with, chat to my friends with. But I wanted to keep it that way, just with, like, my close friends and with, like, kind of more businessy YouTube behind-the-scenes stuff. Um, so, obviously, I didn't want to give that out to everybody. I didn't want to accept everybody on there and then just get spammed constantly. So, instead, I decided I was going to create a separate account for you guys that want to add me and uh, chat to me and maybe even be in some videos. That's the main plan with it for you guys to add me on there. Uh, I really want to make some videos with you guys and get you guys involved in my videos more, especially with like custom games and all that kind of fun stuff. Just messing about pretty much uh, and all that kind of stuff. I've already added a rise on there and uh, hopefully I'll get to add many, many more of you. So yeah, guys, if you do want to add me just a chat or maybe even be in some of my future videos, you can add me on Skype. It's uh, the gory hole is my Skype, as you can see on the screen right now. Uh, feel free to add me on there and uh, I'd love to talk to you guys. I'd love to interact with you guys. You guys know that. Now, the last thing I want to talk about today, guys, is kind of good and kind of bad. Uh, so you may notice there's not uh, any K391 music in the background of this video. I usually play everybody in the background of these Gores Weekly Recap videos because it is a great song. K391 makes fantastic music. But unfortunately, uh, he's changed his policy very recently. Or at least I think he did it very recently. I just luckily happened to check for some reason. Don't know why I like to check these things. Checked his uh, kind of use of music policy. And it turns out he's changed it. So before, it was kind of like a Creative Commons license where you credit him, you can use his music pretty much uh, for commercial use and monetize your videos. But he's recently changed that to where you still have to give him credit, but now he's going to take... Uh, either all the money from your video or he's going to um, take a percentage of the money from your video when you monetize it with his music in it um, Which is a bit unfortunate. Um, I think that's kind of a dick move in a way like I, I get where he's coming from Obviously, you know, he's an artist and if that's his occupation then he needs to make money from his music But to ask for both to ask for credit still and also take our revenue as content creators. I don't know. That seems like a bit of a dick move. Um, so yeah, basically the plan is to no longer use his music uh, in my videos because I don't really want them being claimed by other people. I like to keep them all to myself, pretty much. Greedy as that may sound, I like, uh, you know, I I'd like it to keep all the rights to me when it comes to monetization and stuff like that. So uh, instead, the good news side of things, obviously that bad because I love his music. I've used it in so many of my vid videos. He really does make some great songs, which I love to listen to. To not only put in my videos, but actually just listen to. Um, instead, I'm finally going to go ahead and purchase some licensed music. Now, this music I've always wanted to buy is uh, by an artist called Ronald Jenkins. Um, you've probably heard of him before, or if not him, then you've probably heard some of his music before, especially if you're familiar with like Syndicate, if you've been hanging around Syndicate's channel for quite some time. He used to use it back in the day, the like, kind of like classic Syndicate music in his day, day in the life videos and stuff like that. That kind of stuff. That is what I'm going to be buying. I'm going to be buying a license for, which means basically I have no trouble using it. And I've always wanted to pick it up anyway because he makes some great tracks, Royal Jenkies. So yeah, kind of expect that. Not in this video, but in uh, future videos. Probably starting tomorrow in uh, the YouTube Advice videos. So uh, be some nice sexy outro music and also just background music and intro music and all that kind of stuff. He does make some great tracks. So I can't wait to purchase that license and. Um, basically start using that in my videos and live streams. So yeah, guys, that is pretty much it for this week's Gores Weekly Recap. To wrap things up, as we usually do, video of the week. It would have to be stuff to do in Just Cause 3 Flying Trains. You guys love those videos so much. That's like my most popular series on the channel. I, I guess, actually, I guess that, that kind of competes with YouTube advice. They're two very, very popular series on this channel, uh, but it probably have to be stuff to do in is taking the lead at the moment. Like, you guys really seem to enjoy those kind of quick fast-paced, scripted, comedic videos, I guess. You guys really seem to enjoy them, and I love making them. So uh, here's another one. Here's a preview. Click the annotation or the notification, and it'll take you right over there. Hey, guys. It's Sigourney here. After yesterday's Two Brits Play video where, well, 
This happened. I'm just gonna wait for a train now. I would get a better vantage point because sometimes they do some crazy stuff when flying off the edge. There, Whoa! like that. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Grapple on. Oh, it jumped the gap. I had to just dedicate a whole episode on making the fuckers fly. That's why today we're going to be launching some trains. Sorry, Thomas. So grab your beverage of choice, sit back, relax, and enjoy some more pointless yet fun stuff to do in Just Cause 3. And of course, guys, the very end of Gore's Weekly Recap, we feature some of your guys' comments that particularly stood out to me this week. The first one here is from Cardinals HD, who says, Good video, Gore. Was looking forward to it. Glad to know you might be able to do your beatbox voice in stream. Hope you feel better, though, man, and can't wait for your future streams, mate. Love, love you, dude. Sorry this is so long. Lol. Cardinals, thank you, man, for all your support. Thank you for the nice comment, and uh, big, big shout out for you coming along to the streams. I really do appreciate uh, you, you checking them out. It, it's great to interact with you guys, and it's good to actually have people in chat which I can constantly go back and forth with and talk to. So, uh, yeah, thanks for being there, man, in the streams. I appreciate that. And, uh, yes, it turns out the beatbox voice didn't actually cause me to become ill. Just being ill was conveniently time when me starting to use my beatbox voice. And in case you guys are wondering what my beatbox voice is, you should come along to the live streams. No, I'm kidding. I won't tease you guys like that. Uh, I'll do... Gorgasm complete. That, that was really bad. Let, let's try it again. G -g 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 Gorgasm complete. It's hard to say words like that. It's better to actually beatbox with, as you would imagine. But you kind of get the point. It's, it's like a very kind of deep, back of the throat voice. Like, C Cardinals HD. Basically, I was reading people's, uh, well, when they followed me, I was reading their names out with that voice. Um, I had actually a lot of fun doing that, with, um, but it does destroy my voice so much, so I don't do it very often. But yeah, a little, little teaser for you guys. That, that's the shenanigans we get up to in the live streams. You guys should definitely come along. If you haven't already, twitch.tv slash thegoronator. But yeah, Cardinal, thanks for your comment. Next one here is from Shans Plays, who's been around the channel for quite some time. Thank you, man, for all your support. He says, I came home today from my trip today, and the first thing I did was watch all of your videos. Sad to hear you are ill, but I hope you get better soon and have a wonderful rest of the week. Shans, thank you so much, man, for wishing me well. I am pretty much better now. It's kind of lingering a bit. Like, I still get quite a runny nose. I had a really bad runny nose today, and uh, I cough every so often, probably because I'm speaking way louder than I should. I'm pushing my voice further than I should and speaking way too quickly with these videos, so that's probably why I'm coughing quite a bit, which obviously I'll cut out. Um, but yeah, for some reason it's still lingering a bit, but yeah, for the most part I'm pretty much better. I still have all my energy now, uh, still feel, you know, really pumped to make videos and all that kind of stuff. I'm back to my usual usual self pretty much, so thank you for that, man. And uh, that's pretty cool to hear that you actually, the first thing you did when you came home from your trip was watch my videos. That, that means a lot to hear that, so... Thanks, man, for the dedication to the channel. The final one here is from JPN Killer, who says, Takanaka naka 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 If you don't know what that's from, that's from uh, last week's uh, Rainbow Six Siege video, where me and him had a lot of fun right at the start of that video. Definitely go check that out as well if you haven't seen it already. Uh, but yeah, guys, that was all your comments for the, or at least the ones that particularly stood out to me. Thank you guys so much for all your support, as always. Please do have a great rest of your week, guys. If you did enjoy this video, smash that like button, why not? And of course, subscribe to the channel for more content from myself if you do happen to be new. Check out Mostly Toasty channel, link in the description. Go help my friend out and uh, get him to where he deserves to be. And uh, yeah guys, that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys next time.